people often ask, why would you spend your money and time putting so much physical stress on your body, getting badly injured? While you could have easily enjoyed the views. Probably because it's not easy. There are a lot of things to get adrenaline pumping. are easier than others. Snowboarding is different. You have to learn it before it gives you that excitement. Learning is not fun all the time. Even then, snowboarding calls us. First time we came to Gulmarg five years ago. getting into the sports for the first time ever. We learned which foot we are, how things go in Gulmarg, and learn a little bit of snowboarding. And the progress was substantial. We did snowboarding from phase one and didn't do very bad. But in a trip of mere four days, that was wonderful. Along with learning to snowboard, our aim was to be able to film it. And again, for the first time ever, we could capture aerial shots. It was mesmerizing. And also a learning process. A lot has changed in our lives over these five years. We both got married and are now in our thirties. But the passion for snowboarding still remains. Inspired by a more than a decade old documentary on snowboarding, the dream to be able to do snowboarding and film it in the most creative way again took us to the good world. Gulmarg is the most amazing place. To learn to snowboard and to be able to do it on the slopes of Mount Apavat, one has to spend at least a week in Gulmarg. To become an expert, one will have to do this for a couple of years. Simply put, the more you do it, the better you will get at it. So this time, we planned a week-long trip. Weather in the Himalayas is always unpredictable. The days which are predicted to be sunny could actually be the worst days and vice versa. Our seven-day trip was reduced to only five days because of cancellation of flight due to bad weather. Everyone was trying to get hands on the earliest next flight. Hoping for better weather ahead, 
we spend the days learning our new camera gears and chilling in our cozy home. After two days, we could finally left for Srinagar. Flights to North Indian location like Leh, Jammu and Srinagar are relevatory. It is like flying through the heavens. The excitement starts building. We wish for the moment to freeze. The plane has to land. The bad weather was getting over and the sun has started to show up. This time we were here in beginning of February. With fresh snow all around, we found Gulmarg like we didn't find it before. It was fully covered in snow. Everything had a soft edge. Everything was white. It was dreamy and incomprehensible. Beautiful. With our goal of snowboarding in mind, we stayed close to the slopes and soon we were in the business. The plushy surroundings made it more imperative to start learning as early as possible. Sun was up and snow was fresh, perfect combination for filming and snowboarding. Gulmar feels like Hogsmeade, the fictitious village in Harry Potter. Everyone showing magic with their snowboard, just like children show with their wands in Harry Potter. There are many beginner slopes in Gulmar. Slopes close to the entry are the busiest. So we chose the slope at the corner of Gulmar. In a tiny vehicle in a tiny town, we headed to kickstart our snowboarding journey. The road that runs at the periphery of Gulmarg is very good road. He is Manzut, one of the seasoned snowboarders in Gulmarg and a humble person. We contacted him to learn this thrilling and cool sport. Day one, getting on the board for the first time after five years. Snowboarding is easy, just like walking. Involuntary and effortless, just like swimming. But until you learn it, you fall. You fall many times. Speed scares you. But we are here for that. Take out the fear and learn to ride the board effortlessly. The process is quite tiring. For a 15 seconds ride downhill, there is a 15 minute climb uphill. And you have to do it all day long. It is like Clara coming out of cocoon, building strength for greater slopes. Things begin to get cold outside by evening, literally and figuratively. By evening, temperature drops considerably and people get inside. All slopes get empty by 4 pm. Inside, we meet people. We share our day's experience and get updates about the condition at the mountain. We met Deepak at the breakfast. This is his third year in Gulmar. He is living his life to the fullest. He has traveled so much and he's definitely my inspiration. Next day, same place, same drill. 
learning more and more. Indeed, the uphill journey is tiring and time consuming. A chairlift would be of great help. That's why learning enough to be able to do snowboarding in Mary Shoulder is crucial. We always spend at least an hour extra after 4 p.m. to do a couple of more runs. Finally, the day comes. Your coach believes in you and lets you do the run from the phase one. On the way, you see the magic. This beautiful nature, this beautiful place. Phase one feels like a different place altogether. There are as many tourists as there are in Gulmar. Now our time starts. The slopes are way more extreme than what we have done. So are the falls. We did phase one on our own five years ago. And doing that is important. We come to know the real challenges and our shortcomings. The injuries are more and deep. But till you are excited to get back in the line to do phase one again, you have that spark in you. You are bound to learn because you have not given up. That is what matters. We aimed higher, going for the Mary Shoulder this time. Going to Mary Shoulder means experiencing one more thing, chairlift. Chairlift is fun and relaxing. It gives you crucial 12 minutes rest between your runs. And the views from chairlift are amazing too. At the end point, you feel the excitement. A 2.5 km downhill journey. Such a great experience. The boat catches up very quickly. And speed still scares. It freezes the brain. You forget the body posture. Forget what we have to do to make that turn. Because it still is involuntary for us. And then we fall. My shoulder evaluates your real progress. It provides you with all sorts of challenges. But coming to Mary Shoulder is advantageous. The uphill journey is not tiring, but relaxing. The slopes are longer and give you ample opportunity to learn. There is one more higher point here, a place that feels so raw and unreal.
Phase two, the top of Mount Upperworth. People lose snowboarding from here, but we are too amateur to do it. We limited ourselves to the views which were breathtaking. As all the good things come to an end, our trip was over. Did we learn to snowboard? Mm, yes, a little. Did we get awesome shots? Mm, yes, a few. Did we enjoy? Yes, a lot. Year by year, we learn. Year by year, we'll improve. Both our snowboarding and filming. And it was somewhere then, I started to feel it. Covered in chaos. In chaos. story and visuals gave you goosebumps, imagine what it would be like to be really able to do this. If I'm able to inspire you to try snowboarding or at least make you want to be at this place, my job is done. Just like this, 15 years ago.